But I want to address the good-hearted people in the room, which would be most all of us. Good-hearted people struggle with the tension of, I'm called to love this person, but there's something about this person. There's something about this person that the Bible strictly forbids. And so what happens is, is we struggle with the tension of, where does my call to love them violate Holy Scripture? Because we don't want to do that. And where does my uh, reverence of Holy Scripture violate my call to love them? And so we live in this tension of, where am I, where am I crossing the line on either way? Are you following what I'm saying here, right? Like, and if you don't struggle with that tension, you need to get different friends because we, this happens to us. And what do you do when that happens? How do, you, how do you do that? Let me give you the answer to that. We have a choice. And that choice is we can either be right about the Bible or we can do something far more profound than that and we can fulfill Scripture. And to fulfill Scripture is simply to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And when you do unto others as you would have them do unto you, you've done something more profound than be right about it. You've done something called fulfill it. And that was Jesus' whole thing. Jesus would have got an F in Bible. Remember, <clears throat> they bring him someone caught in the act of adultery. And what does the Bible clearly say to do to someone? Stone her. They say, the Bible clearly says stone her. What do you say? He goes, I know the scriptures say stone her, but we're not going to stone her. Why? Because I love her more than the rules. And he did, the, he did something more profound than be right about Scripture. He fulfilled it by treating her how he would want to be treated if he were in the exact same situation. And that was what was so offensive to people addicted to being right about the Scripture. Jesus is like, don't just be right about the Scripture. Fulfill Scripture. And to fulfill Scripture is to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Right? Which leads me to this question. Is there a group of people that just pop to your mind, that feel less than welcome in most churches because the Bible evidently forbids something about their lifestyle choice? Does any group of people just to sort of come to the forefront and say, you know what? This group of people feel less than welcome in most churches because the Bible forbids something about their lifestyle choice. And of course, who am I talking about? I'm talking about the gluttons. The unrepentant overeaters. Because the Bible strictly forbids gluttony 25 times more than it does homosexuality. So keep that in mind. So how should Bayside Church respond if a busload of unrepentant overeaters showed up here next Sunday? I'm not talking about one lonely fat dude either. I'm talking about a whole busload of them. I'm talking about you might have to reinforce the floor if they all came in here at one time. How should Bayside Church respond if a busload of gluttons showed up knowing the Bible forbids gluttony? What should our response be? Should our response be, hi, I guess you're welcome here, but you need to know exactly where we stand on your lifestyle choice. Well, if that's what you would do, you're in the wrong place. If a busload of gluttons showed up here, our only question should be, how would we want to be treated if we were them? And then treat them in accordance to that. Our response should be, hi, you're so welcome here. And you know what? We believe the Spirit of God is at work in every person and has a better life for every person. That includes us. That includes you. But you just come and belong here because we believe that the, that the Spirit of the risen God and the presence of the risen Christ is strong enough to do all the convicting and all the changing that you'll ever need in your whole life. And we're going to trust all the convicting and all the changing with God because we believe that God is better at that than we are. So please, come on in. So let this church be the place where all the unrepentant overeaters of Melbourne know they're welcome. Because we want to fulfill scripture and not just be right about it. If you want to unstick your life spiritually, you got to make two choices. One, you got to believe that God loves people more than the rules. That's one. And two, we have to make a choice to fulfill scripture and not simply be right about it. If all you want to do is be right about scripture, next time someone tells you they cheated on their wife, get your stone out. The next time you see a neighbor taking Saturday and working, stone him. <laughs> this is what scripture says. 
we know in our heart we are called to be to not just be right about it we are called to fulfill scripture which is to do unto others as we would have them done to you and you know what if you are here and you're on the fence with jesus i want to pause and do this a bit more slowly because i really want to hammer this home i want you to know that from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of this church's heart we believe that god loves you more than the rules whatever rule you've broken jesus loves you more than that and jesus would treat you exactly how he would want to be treated if he was in that exact same situation because jesus was someone who fulfilled scripture and wasn't just simply concerned with being right about it please consider saying yes to a person like that today